Hello there everyone, in today's video we're going to take a look at some inheritance tax planning with also how it links in with property development. So looking at two aspects, property developers and how we can save some inheritance tax. So how the two of them mesh. So let's consider an example. Let's consider a developer, a property developer, who has had issues getting finance in the past. They've gone to the banks, the banks have wanted charges, guarantees, goodness knows what. And the developer is a bit fed up with the traditional sources of finance and is looking for alternative sources of finance. Right. So they have a property development company. So they buy land, they develop it and they sell it. They don't buy to develop and invest and hold. They buy um, to develop and then sell. That's crucial for tax purposes because that is a property, that is a trading company as opposed to an investment company. So there are different tax reliefs afforded thereon. Now, so coming back to the point, the problem with this guy where he wants some finance. So what if you've got another individual, nothing to do with property development at all, but has a few quid and they have a potential inheritance tax problem. So they've done all the things that I've talked about in my other videos where they've maxed out their pensions, their ISAs, the family investment company, everything else, but they've still got a potential IHT problem when they die. So IHT, remember, inheritance tax, 40% on the value of your estate in excess of the, the nil rate band, which broadly for a husband and wife um, is about a million pounds. 325 grand each plus residential property. It's a million pounds. So this guy, let's assume he's got several million and he's got an IHT problem. Now, also let's assume he's got half a million just parked in cash, in a bank and it's not doing very much in fact it's getting next to no interest so here's an idea for him to invest it get a decent return and also save on some inheritance tax down the line what he does this individual invests in the property developers company so the property developer finds this guy who's got a few quid and says I'll make you a shareholder in my company basically I want your money I want your money rather than go to a bank for development finance, I will take your money, thank you very much. And in return, I'll give you a really decent yield. I'll give you 10% return per annum. Now, the way we structure this is we give special shares to this investor, this angel investor, if you will. And we can give him what we call preference shares so that he gets first dibs on any dividends made, any, on the profits made in this property development company. So he's locked in the first slice of the profits based on the shares that he's been given. And he's paid a dividend uh, return of, let's say it's 10%, so 50 grand a year, 50 grand a year on his 500 grand, it's not bad, it's a lot better than what he had in the bank. Now, of course, there's, there's no upper limit, it can be whatever he can negotiate. This guy might say to the developer, look, I want 20% or whatever. Um, the point is, structure it in the right way, given these preference shares in the property developer's company, and he takes out a dividend for the years that the money is invested. Now, that's great for investment returns, but also the, remember this video is about inheritance tax. Because he's invested all of a sudden in a property development company, the IHT rules say that the property development company qualifies as a type of company for what we call business property relief. BPR is a very valuable relief in the IHT world because it basically says if you've got money in shares in a BPR qualifying company, the value of those shares fall out of your estate for inheritance tax. So where this guy, this angel investor had 500 grand sat in the bank, potentially subject to IHT when he pops his clogs, all of a sudden the 500 grand used in the property development company, of which he's now a shareholder, that escapes inheritance tax. It falls out of his estate because it qualifies for this BPR. Now, it wouldn't had this property developer just been investing, buy and hold. That changes the dynamic completely. But because he's a developer, buys and sells, it's a trading business, not an investment business, and it qualifies for this valuable inheritance relief break. So this is a win-win all round. This is a, a solving a problem for the property developer who's fed up with traditional bank finance, looking for something different, found, come across this rich individual who's willing to, to put in half a mil in return for a decent yield, but also this individual who puts the money in is going to save on inheritance tax massively. So 40% on that 500 grand that he's taken from the bank, put it into the property development company, he's going to save 
200 grand in inheritance tax when he pops his club. So that is uh, a pretty good saving. So, and then just uh, confirmation there of the of the interest uh, of the the yield on his investment, the dividend that is paid out up until the point that he does pass away. So there's an overview there on inheritance tax planning, particularly if you've got a few quid and you get in with a property developer who's looking for some funding. It can be a win-win situation all around. So if you like this video, please do subscribe right there and I'll see you soon.